at the time now at 14 minutes past six. We'll talk about a new survey which has revealed that childcare and early education reform could be a potential vote winner uh, for the next generation, as nearly half say this will be a key issue in their decision on who to back at the next election. Yes, and almost two thirds of voters said they believe good early years education will benefit the whole country. Well, joining us now is Acting Director at the Early Education and Child Care Coalition, Sarah Ronan. Good morning to you, Sarah. Very good to see you this morning. I mean, perhaps not a surprise when you, when you look at the cost of child care now. We are in a cost of living crisis that this is going to be a huge issue for people at the next general election. Absolutely. We know that this year uh, the average cost of a full-time place for a two-year-old in England is £14,000 a year. Now, that is more than some people, or as much as some people's mortgage. And I think what's interesting about our research is that this was a key priority, not just for parents, but also for voters who don't yet have children. Actually, where across the board, it was 42% in support of um, child, wanting to see childcare reform a key issue in the election. That rose to 59% among people wanting to have children because they're surveying the landscape at the moment and they're seeing housing costs, cost of groceries and the cost of having a child is just completely out of reach. It makes everything completely out of reach. But this is also a key election issue for grandparents. And I think that's really interesting, too, because we're seeing that grandparents are looking at their own children and seeing that they're not getting the chances in life that they had, that they're having to work, fight tooth and nail just to keep their heads above water and meet the essentials. So across the board, it's so, looking like this is going to be important for everyone. It's really quite complex, um, this whole thing. You're talking about grandparents and... I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised listening, and, and you're talking about the opportunities that grandparents had. I would have thought, in many, many ways, grandparents would have had it tougher uh, than today's present generation. And so, I'm just sort of asking you to to explain how life has changed. Because let's go back to people who are grandparents and whatever. They they didn't have. All this childcare. When did childcare suddenly become an issue? When women moved out of the the home to to work in the workplace, and then the whole social demographic thing changes and people's roles change. Just explain to us a bit of that that history and why we're at where we're at. Because my point being, in the 1950s, the 1960s, or the 1970s, people had family to rely on. And I'm sensing from your accent, you're Irish, yeah. I am. Yeah, indeed. And, and you know the power of community and family and how they played a role in all that. People emigrate. They, they leave Ireland. They come to London. They have no family. They have no family support around them, whatever. And really what I'm trying to say is how different is it from the 60s and the 70s to today? So there's two things to that. One is just the cost of living over decades anyway. You need two incomes to survive. So it's very much a practical thing that both parents in households where there are two parents have to just go out to work, really. There's no choice to it. Um, and that raises a separate question, actually, around single parent households who really do struggle more than anyone else with the cost of childcare. But also the way in which we work and live has changed as travel has become easier, um, as job opportunities and, and the economy is spread outside of London. People move away more for job opportunities. So we don't have that sense of kind of filial piety maybe that we had in those times. And we don't have those um, connections and support systems but also as well, you know, people are working longer. So perhaps where grandparents um, retired a little bit earlier, they're also having to work old, longer as well. And there is a generation of people that, you know, often referred to as the sandwich generation. They're looking after, helping to look after their grandchildren, but they're perhaps also caring for elderly relatives as well, because we're all living longer.